You've seen kids like us before. We're healthy and having fun. And there are a lot of kids like us. We all have some hang-ups, but nothing serious enough to, to destroy our mental or physical health. It takes pep and energy to enjoy life. And we like that warm feeling. That's why it's so important to take care of your health. But the chances for life and happiness can be destroyed. By some diseases that are spreading rapidly. Every 30 seconds, someone contracts one of these crippling diseases. This is something you should have gotten in with some three weeks earlier. Now, we're going to take one more test before we treat you. This is something that could affect you the rest of your life. Karen, it's unfortunate that so many young people like you don't take this more seriously. Yeah, you have a disease that, untreated, could prevent you from ever having children. The kind of disease we're talking about is VD, venereal disease. Diseases transmitted from one person to another by intimate sexual contact. There are several venereal diseases, but gonorrhea and syphilis are the most frequent. Venereal diseases are communicable diseases, just as are smallpox, measles, or typhoid fever. They are usually passed unknowingly from person to person. VD is epidemic and out of control. Furthermore, there is no way to tell if an infected person may have venereal disease by outward appearances. Because VD is so serious, you should understand the facts about it, and you should understand the necessity for getting to a doctor immediately, even though you only suspect you may be infected. The reason for this serious concern is because, on the average, someone contracts a case of VD every 30 seconds. More people are contracting and infecting others with syphilis and gonorrhea than all other communicable diseases put together. The VD rate is highest in the 15 to 24 year old age group. In fact, in just one year, in some areas, as many as one out of every 10 young people were infected with a new case of venereal disease. And untreated venereal disease may damage the body permanently. Of the two venereal diseases, syphilis and gonorrhea, syphilis is the more deadly. I want to take a look at your eyes, so just look right at my nose. When syphilis damages the body, the damage is permanent. Untreated syphilis may attack and permanently damage brain tissue, causing insanity. This patient has neurosyphilis. He will never recover because he ignored the beginning stages of syphilis until it was too late. How, how do you feel this morning? Uh, sir, I feel fine. You feel fine. Now, can you tell me your name? My name is you. Yes. My name is you. How old are you? I, I, I was 16. 16. And can you tell me where you are? Uh, I, I don't know. You don't know. Okay. Thank you. Syphilis may attack the central nervous system, causing partial paralysis. Syphilis may cause blindness. It may damage the heart. and shorten life.
Syphilis may cause a baby to be born dead or crippled for life. This is a spirochete, as seen through a microscope. It is the organism that causes syphilis. It is passed from one person to another by sexual contact. It nearly always enters the body by way of the moist, warm mucous membranes, such as those that line the penis, vagina, mouth and throat, and anus. Ten to ninety days after infection, a small sore called a chancre appears. In the female, the chancre is usually deep inside where it can neither be seen nor felt. Because of this, she may not know that she has syphilis. In the male, the chancre usually appears on the penis. Chancres usually appear at the point of contact. Although a chancre contains thousands of spirochetes, it is not painful. Chancres may appear on any warm, moist mucous membrane, or they may appear on other parts of the body. But since a chancre develops at the point of first contact, it usually develops on the sex organs. Without treatment, the chancres will usually disappear in two to four weeks. Because of this, people think the infect true. By now, millions of spirochetes carried by the bloodstream begin swarming throughout the body. Then, without treatment, four to eight weeks after the chancres have disappeared, the disease becomes visible again. The hair may fall out in patches, or various skin blotches, scales, rashes may break out in the body. In a few weeks, even these skin conditions may disappear, but not the disease. Without treatment by a doctor, syphilis remains with the patient for as long as he may live. Over the years, it continues to attack the organs of the body, the nervous system, the kidneys, the liver, the heart, the eyes, even the brain itself. Fortunately, however, syphilis can be cured quickly and easily if it is treated in time by a doctor. The other serious venereal disease is gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is epidemic and out of control. In the early stages, gonorrhea affects the moist mucous membranes of the penis, the vagina, the throat, the anus, and even the eyes. This is how the gonococcus, the bacterium of gonorrhea, looks through a microscope. Two to eight days after contact with a diseased person, the male feels a painful burning sensation when he urinates. There is also a thick, milky discharge. Without treatment, the disease can spread through the urinary system to the testes. Here, scar tissue forms, which stops the passage of sperm. When this happens, the male is sterile. He can never become a father. Gonorrhea that has gone too long without treatment may also cause the male difficulty urinating the rest of his life. 
the male usually knows when he has gonorrhea. The female is not that fortunate. It is estimated that 80% of the women infected with gonorrhea do not know it. The female may not know she's been infected because there is little discharge and the infection develops deep in her body where she cannot feel pain. She can unknowingly pass gonorrhea to countless other sex partners who may in turn help spread the disease. If the female is infected, she can pass the disease onto her baby at birth. For this reason, drops are placed in a baby's eyes at birth to prevent blindness in case the mother had gonorrhea. If the female does not know that she has gonorrhea, the disease may progress weeks later to the ovaries. Scar tissue may form in the fallopian tubes. This blocks the passage of eggs from the ovaries to the womb. When that happens, the female can never become pregnant and have children. thought it could never happen to you. But it did. And it happens to lots of kids, all the time. No wonder, because there is so much of it around. If you have any symptoms of a venereal disease, don't take a chance. It's important to get to a doctor right away. Don't try some medicine recommended by a friend, because only a doctor can cure syphilis or gonorrhea. Putting off medical treatment can mean the difference between a cure or permanent damage to your body. So where do you go if you have VD, or even think you might have? Well, for one thing, you can go to your family doctor. In most states, the doctor doesn't have to notify the parents of teenagers. This makes it a lot easier for a young person to get medical help. You can also go to your local health department or clinic. Treatment here is usually free. Wherever you go, tell the doctor where you caught VD. This is important so that the other person can get prompt treatment. It's the only decent thing to do because you know that untreated VD can cause a lot of misery. Also, this helps stop the spread of the disease. Many times, a girl won't even know that she has been infected. I didn't know that. That's why it's so important for us to get in touch with her. The health department contacts the other person privately. By law, they can't tell where they got their information. No names are mentioned. One more thing. We haven't talked about getting VD from toilet seats. That's because there's nothing to say. You can't. The germs that cause VD die when they're exposed to air. They can't survive without warm human tissue. On the average, every 30 seconds, someone contracts a case of VD. The tremendous increase in the number of reported cases of venereal disease annually in the United States have alarmed public health officials everywhere. Many people do not realize that even after adequate treatment, you can catch both syphilis and gonorrhea again. You can even be infected with both of them at the same time. Fortunately, both syphilis and gonorrhea 
can be treated and cured easily in the early stages. But even more importantly, they can be prevented. Preventing VD is just as important as the treatment. You can get information about prevention from your doctor or local health department. If you become infected, or even think you might be, see a doctor. Don't take the chance of infecting others. Don't take a chance with the crippling effects of untreated venereal disease. Know the symptoms of VD. Treat it early, and it's easily cured. Untreated VD may affect you the rest of your life. I was sustained. 